Hey, welcome everybody to uh, Phantom Fights. We got a new match for you. Nick is here. He's doing a thing. Ahoy! Nick, how you doing? Good, Tim. How are you doing? I'm really tired. <laughs> it's, it's been a long day. I'm having a rough time, but I'm doing good. I'm, I'm excited about the match. Uh, Bridget and Mike, always fun people to have in matches, and uh, I think it's going to be a good one. What do you think about it? Uh, I'm very excited as well, Tim. I think at the very least we're in for a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to the promos. Hi, it's me, Bridget. It's me again. Here I am. Uh, I'm excited for this match. Mike is always fun to watch and play against. And just so y'all know, I did not go to work today to be here. So I'm really pumped. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Oh, and hydrate or dehydrate. I'm facing Bridget. Bridget's going to kick my ass. Fuck it. Nick, promos, short and sweet. What'd you think? I thought they were sweet and short. Yeah. Let's get into it. Round number one. How's it going to work? Round number one is going to work like this. Uh, There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer at the end of 15 seconds. We will say pens down at which point players will reveal their answers and say aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece, and should any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we begin round number one? No. What are questions? Well, I'll show you. The first one comes in the category of Pixar. Fuck. In Luca, what sport on land does Luca's mother take part in to try and discover which human boy is her son? Uh, do you want to name a bunch of sports or do you want to talk about something else? We should talk about something else, I think. I like your shirt. Thank you. Ahoy. I like your place of work. Five, four. Thanks. Three. Me much Two. joy. One. Pens down. Let's go to Mike. I have no idea. Soccer. <laughs> and Bridget. Soccer. Soccer is correct. Fuck yeah. There we go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Your next question is in the category of horror icons. Mm. Which Friday the 13th film features a young girl accidentally drowning her own father? That'd be rough. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now we can talk about sports. You played soccer. I've also done a luge. You were a goalie, no? I was. Holy shit. You had to do this a lot? Like a mime? Unless I didn't want to, unless I wanted to get hit in the face. Yeah. Repeat. All right, that's going to be Mike's first repeat. Which Friday the 13th film features a young girl accidentally drowning her own father? Um, I really do like this sweater that I'm wearing, but now I'm realizing that I'm very warm. So I'm oh going to take this off. Oh, you planned oh. that. You planned that. that I did not crazy. at all. But <laughs> I've just been running around all day. Five, four, three, two, Deal. one. Pens down, Bridget. The third one? I've uh, never seen them, so. <laughs> I couldn't think of the fucking subtitle. Nothing. Uh, Jason Lives, part Mother six. Motherfucker. Uh, is <laughs> the <laughs> answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe Nick, I cursed that? you with my affliction, your, Mike. Your third question comes in the category of DreamWorks animation. <laughs> Name one of the two people who voiced the main two boys, George and Harold, in Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> um, what? We should make a movie called Nick Tuig, the first epic movie. I think we should call it like the third epic movie and then everyone would be really confused because there aren't two that come before it. It's true. That'd be fun. Yeah, they'd watch it and be like, oh, I got to see one and two. And it's like, no, this was one. Two. One. Pens down. Uh, Let's go to Mike. John C. Riley. And Bridget. I got really excited, but I've never seen this. (laughs) Uh, The answers were Kevin Hart and Thomas Middleditch. So, your next question is in the category of Middle Earth. Oh, great. Who is the Bring first 
Who is the first dwarf to start singing lyrics to the song by Bilbo's fireplace after dinner in an unexpected journey? Um, <laughs> the players seem to be very vocal about where their strengths and weaknesses lie. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a strategy. No, oh, Mike got the question he didn't like right, and he got the question he did like wrong. Four, three, two, one, hands down. Let's go to Bridget. Sam. And <laughs> throw an open shield. Lauren is correct. So, <laughs> I've seen one of the movies. Mike goes up two to one. Nick, what's next? Your uh, next question might as well round out the animated categories here, Tim. It comes in Disney animation. Okay. The main trio, Maggie, Grace, and Mrs. Calloway, are what kind of animals in Home on the Range? I know Maggie. I know Mrs. Calloway. Nice. Nice. It's a while since I've seen this movie, but I think I've got it right. <laughs> Mr. Calloway was my uh, mailman. Ooh, two. One, pens down. Let's go to Mike. Cows? And Bridget. Cows. That is correct. <laughs> All right, your next question is going to come in the category of James Bond. So oh, great. What is the first name of Miss King, the love interest turned main villain in The World Is Not Enough? <laughs> this movie's not that bad. If the world's not enough, Tim, how much is it? The world plus, like, Sam? Oh. Five. Get it? Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Bridget. What a great question. Wish I knew. And Mike. Beatrice. Uh, incorrect. We're looking for Electra. Electra. What a slay name. Guess. What's next? <laughs> Your next question comes to the category of Star Trek. Which Star Trek film features a 1970s naval ship called the Enterprise? God damn it. Oh. Ahoy. Fuck it. Ahoy. Ahoy. What is that shirt from? Uh, the store. Nice. What's What? Five. A weird question. Four, three. It's a thing the pirates say. One pens down. Let's go to Mike. Number three, search for Spock. And uh, Bridget. Episode four. <laughs> the fourth movie. <laughs> I don't know. Both, both in fact, you're looking for the voice. I couldn't yeah. remember. I, I knew the fucking name. I knew it was the fourth one. It was the fourth one. Damn yeah. it. All right. Your next question. <laughs> Is in the category of YA. Okay. Bella sprains her hand punching Jacob after he does what in Twilight Eclipse? I really want to say one answer here, but you know. You should only. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this is the match I decided to bring water to. Hydrate, bitch! Three, two, hydrate with no one. Pens down. Uh, let's go to Bridget. Uh, and Mike um, kisses her. Kisses her. Is what did you say? What I was thinking. Asked her out. Well, okay, yes. Twilight was a fever dream. If I'm being completely honest. So Mike is up four to two. Nick, what's the next question? Your penultimate question comes in the category of DC. Who plays, who plays former assassin Victoria in the Red series? These are fun movies. <sighs> yeah, I like them. I like the first one more. Uh, yeah, but also the second one's like... It's very like... What's, what's a good comparison? Oh, like the God. God. Yeah. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Mike. Didn't have it. And Bridget. I said Alicia Vikander, and then I'm going to be mad. Uh, incorrect answer is Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Fuck. 
Uh, so the final uh, question in this round is in the category of Worlds of DC. And your question is, in Justice League, who races the Flash in the post credit scene? You know what a better name for the Justice League is? Shit Justice? Yes. No. <laughs> the seven. That's what I was going to say! <laughs> and the boys paused on my TV. Pens down. down. Let's go to Bridget. Heck if I know. And Mike. Superman? Superman is correct. Mm. Uh, so at the end of round number one, Mike is up five to two. Is that what you have, Nick? That's correct, Tim. What is round number two and how's it going to work? Round number two is the wheel round, and it's going to work like this. Uh, each player is going to get a spin at the wheel. Okay, like, uh, oh, it's got eight fandom categories on as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Then each player is going to get a spin at the wheel. If they like, they spin the first time, they keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what it lands on the second time. They get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless they like to check down a multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one. Be on the lookout. Stealing is available in round number two. Tim, what's on the wheel today? On the wheel today is Horror Icons, Worlds of DC, Law and Order, James Bond, YA, DC, Pixar, and The Wizarding World. Mike, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? Fuck it. I'll go first. Spin right. that shit. This is going to be your spin, Mike. It lands on Pixar. <laughs> Spin that shit again. Let's fucking go. All right. This is what you're stuck with. Lands on YA. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. Let's go. Fuck it. All right. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. Go ahead and give Mike his questions in YA. Mike, are you prepared for your questions in the category of YA? No. The answer was yeah, but I'm going to read them anyway. Your first question. Which YA film features a character being given a drug so that they appear to have died in order to get them out of a life-threatening situation? What the fuck? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are, is it A, Insurgent, B, Twilight Eclipse, C, Mockingjay, Part 1, or D, The Death Cure? Mocking Jay in part one. That is incorrect. Bridget Chance for the one point seal. Your options again are A, Insurgent, B, Eclipse, C, Mocking Jay part one, or D, The Death Cure. I'm going to go Eclipse. That's unfortunately also incorrect. Oh, incorrect. is it Insurgent? It is indeed Insurgent. Fuck. <laughs> All right, I Mike. thought so. Mike, I'm we're going to move on to your second question in YA. What is the name of the town that Bella moves to in Twilight? Forks. That is correct for two points. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I know that, but you know. <laughs> I'm in great shape. In the opening right? monologue. <laughs> yeah. But... Like I fucking remember that monologue. <laughs> All right, Mike, your third question. Who plays President Alma Coyne in the Hunger Games series? So it's not that one. Fuck. Multiple choice. Fuck. Your multiple choice options are is it A, Judy Greer, B, Brie Larson, C, Julianne Moore, or D, Leslie Mann? Julianne Moore. That is correct for one point. I almost said Donald <laughs> Sutherland. <laughs> That's the other president. <laughs> Mike, your penultimate question. In the Maze Runner, who realized that the password to exit the maze is the sequence of the maze itself? What is his name? Multiple choice. The multiple choice options is A. Minho, B. Teresa, C. Chuck, D. Thomas. Wasn't who I thought it would be. I don't recognize any of those names. Thomas. That's correct for one. Fuck. <laughs> and Mike, your final question. In the Hunger Games Catching Fire, Finnick wears what type of gold jewelry to show Katniss that they are allies? Wait, 
Wait, are you looking for the actual, like the the actual object or the type of jewelry? Would you like a repeat? A uh, mocking jay. That is incorrect, Bridget. Chance for the two point steal. Gold bracelet. Bracelet is what we were looking for. That is correct for a two point steal. And the end of Mike's round two. All right, so Mike gets his total up to nine. Bridget's at four. Is that what you have? That's what I have. Okay. Let's bring back the wheel. And the spin for Bridget is in. It lands on DC. Spin it again, please. Okay. This is what you are stuck with. And it lands on the world. Fuck. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> Bridget, Great. I'll be giving you your questions. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Bring it First on. question. Which Worlds of DC film features a man nearly being shot in an alleyway, but the bullet being stopped by the main hero? Uh, let's go to multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, Batman v Superman, B, Wonder Woman, C, Aquaman, or D, Shazam? Let's go Wonder Woman. That is correct for one point. Yeah! <laughs> All right, your next question. Yeah. Who plays Alfred, Batman's butler in the worlds of DC? Michael Caine? That is incorrect. Bridget, chance for a, or sorry, Mike, chance for a two points deal. Fuck me, man. I, I forgot knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Five, four, three, two. Not going to get it. Fuck. Uh, we're looking for Jeremy Irons. Motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck no. is that? <laughs> uh, all right. Your next question. Yeah. Who kills Rick Flag in The Suicide Squad? Peacemaker. That is correct for two points. Shit. Love that movie. It's very good. I agree. Uh, your fourth question. In Aquaman, how is Mera related to the king of Zebel, Nereus? Let's go multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, daughter, B, mother, C, sister, or D, granddaughter? Let's go daughter. That is correct for one point. Yeah. <laughs> and your final question. In Birds of Prey, why specifically does Roman need a new driver when he hires Black Canary? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, he shot his old driver. B, he just bought a new car. C, he has lost his license, or D, Harley broke his old driver's legs. C sounds the funniest, so I'm going to go for that one. That is incorrect. Mike, chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, he shot his old driver, B, he just bought a new car, C, he lost his license, or D, Harley broke his old driver's legs? Fuck it, D. Fuck it, D is correct for one point. <laughs> so at the end of round number two, with the steals, Mike gets up to 10, but Bridget gets her uh, total up to eight. Is that what you have? That's what I have, Tim. All right, round number three. How's it going to work, Nick? Round number three is going to work like this. It is the betting round. We have five more questions in the realm of fan of fights. Once the players hear the category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions as we get around three? No. Can Please. you give me the answers? Yeah. <laughs> After, yeah, you answer. Bummer. Uh, so the first category that you can bet points on is going to be fandom quotes. <laughs> Let's get bets starting with Bridget. I bet one point. Okay. And Mike? Zero. All right. Let's go. Your question in fandom quotes. Which Marvel supporting character said the quote... I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble, 
and finally allows us to die with pride. Ooh. Oh, this yeah. doesn't matter to you. If you died right now. I want to. Would it be noble or with pride? <laughs> Probably not. Five, four, three, Five. two, one. Pens down. We're going to start with Mike who bet zero. Captain Crunch. Incorrect. <laughs> Bridget. Stanley Tucci's guy in Captain America, the first <laughs> adventure. I uh, that's also incorrect. You're looking for Aunt May. <laughs> Aunt May. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> it is now 10 uh, to 7. Nick, what's okay. the next category? Next category you can bet points on is Star Wars. Let's get bets starting with Mike. Zero. Go. Oh. Right. Bridget. Two. All right, Nick, what's the question? The question is, what type of creature is Jar Jar Banks in The Phantom Menace? Oh, God. Who's the biggest menace you know? Jar Jar Banks. Dennis. And also Gene. Mine is Bucky. Five. Did he hear you? Four, three, two. Repeat. All right, that's Bridget's first repeat. Oh my God. What type of creature is Jar Jar Banks in The Phantom Menace? He did hear me. He went like this. Ooh. Looked up at me and like. What you doing, bro? Can't wait to say that about Wally. Is that happening? No. Maybe. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with my coup at zero. An iguana with an erection. Oh, my. <clears throat> A terrible one. I can't remember it. The answer is Gungan. Gungan is the answer. So Bridget loses two points. It is now 10 to 5. Uh, we move on to the third question. The category is horror icons. Oh, Let's get that starting with Bridget. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Let's go. <laughs> Your final question of this match uh, in the category of horror icons is, which film in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise features a young boy being guided by Freddy? across a busy highway. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, that'd be very unfortunate if that happened to you. Uh, I'm just going to start doing this. Stats yeah, the don't play in the roads, kids. It's bad. You will get hurt. Don't do it. Five. But I want to. Three, two. Mike, you scored 50% of accuracy. Hands down. Let's go, to Bridget. <laughs> Let's go to Bridget. I don't know. I couldn't hear you. Oh, nice. Uh, what? Mike. <laughs> New nightmare. And your winner, Mike oh, Hanley. <laughs> the answer was New Nightmare. Nick. Yeah. Oh, boy. What'd you think? Hey, man, listen, I had a good time. I did, <laughs> I too. Know. I did, too. It was a great time. Mike. No, I was about to say Mike. Always better than he thinks he is. But there was that one time where he, like, didn't score any... And the other time where he got like two. Um, but Maybe regardless of that, hard. this was a very close match at one point. Uh, I think Bridget surprised uh, maybe herself and a lot of people in the world of DC. Mike surprised everybody and why, like, they both got things I don't think they wanted, but they did rather well in them. Um, and I think both could have won uh, on any given day. Mike just so happened to bet smart, I guess. Yeah. Let's get into the post-match. Uh, we'll start by talking to Bridget. What's up? Bridget, what's up? Welcome back. Always a pleasure. Uh, if it helps, you are now at the record that Mike Hanley used to be at. Um, so maybe things are looking up. How are you feeling about your performance today as well as, uh, you know, going forward? I feel, I feel pretty good considering I've spent the last week and a half not being able to put my thoughts into words. So I knew exactly the Gungan was trapped in there. But it just would not leave my mouth or exit into my writing hand. So I did I did better than I thought I would, to be completely honest. That's fair. Bridget, I'm happy. Um, I, ask, I ask you this every time, though I feel you don't know many names uh, in nope. this around here. Who would you like to play next? 
I would like to play um, whoever is willing to uh, fuck around and find out. Great. That's one of my new favorite things. So Yeah. Big fan of that one. Bridget, great job. Always a pleasure. Uh, we'll see you next time for sure. As we bring in our winner today, <laughs> haven't heard that in a while, Mr. Mike Hanley. <clears throat> Listen, you won. That's all well and good. I would like to focus on the fact that you may have delivered the quote of the year. And I'm not even going to say it right right now. And oh shit, I forgot knowledge. Put that shit on a t shirt. What inspired you to say such a line? Because I'm a fucking idiot. That's why. Great. I disagree. You fun. You got, you got questions. Jason right? lives. That's fair. Jason fucking lives. Because he lived in it. He came back. Fuck Mike. Me. Mike, you're now at um, not a 500. It's more like a one third, a 30. Let's go. Two, two and you're two and four, so that's two out of six. You're at a one third. Um, now that you're there, uh, is there anyone you you want to knock out next? Moby Dick. Great, he's debuting later, so that'll work. Uh, Mike, congrats on the win. We'll see you next time. Tim, I bet you're gonna try and talk, even though your mic's muted. This was a great match. We'll see you next time. Bye. But again, that's the hero gig. Part of the journey is the end. Goodbye, old friend. Giddy has to go.